Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good to see you. How was your day? Busy. Tired. Boring. Relaxing. Tired. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance. Uh, Jocelyn Natalia. Jocelyn, no here. Juana Candelaria. No. Karen Xiomara. Karen Xiomara. Karina Yasmin. Present, teacher. Okay. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Cuidado, Present. Great. Leslie Natalie. Present. Excellent. Lisbeth Martinez. Lisbeth. No yet. Lucia Elena. Present teacher. Excellent. Luz Virginia. Present. Okay. Margarita Vigail. Present. Great. María de los Ángeles. María de los Ángeles, no here. Martín Ernesto. No yet. Meili Yamilet. Present, Miss. Excellent. Melissa Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Excellent. Michelle Beatriz. Present, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Hello, good evening. Eh, solicito permiso, fíjese que no estoy en casa, me dirijo todavía hacia ella, entonces voy a estar de oyente, pero no voy a poder participar. Ok, Karen. Raúl José. Thank you. Raúl, no yet. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Bien. Roberto Eduardo. Uh, present teacher. Excellent. Rodi. Rodi Dalila. Por ahí la vi. Are you there? Say present, Rodi.
Sandra Maritza. Presente, teacher. Ok, ok. Selma Yamilet. Selma. Stephanie Abigail. I'm here. Okay. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Okay. In the case you enter late, I'm going to repeat your name. Jocelyn Natalia. No yet. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Juana Candelaria. Good evening, present teacher. Hey, good evening. Karen Xiomara. Good night, teacher. Present. Hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Lisbeth Martinez. Good night, teacher. Present. Okay. María de los Ángeles. Martín. Raúl. Selma. No yet. Okay. Remember, open your cameras. Hola, solamente para los special cases. Okay, you have the permission, but remember you have to maintain your camera on. Okay, yesterday we were uh, talking about the neighborhood. And today uh, I'm going to start the class to ask you, what do you think? Do you consider, are you a good or a bad neighbor? What do you think in your honest opinion? <laughs> are you noisy? In my case, I have a good neighbor. No, but you, yourself, how do you consider yourself? Yes, Candelaria? Good, I think. Good. Hmm. But your face says something different. Uh -huh. How how you consider yourself as a neighbor? Are you a quiet neighbor or are you a noisy neighbor? Miss, in my case, I am an excellent neighbor because I am very quiet and very, I don't know, possible and very friendly. And I, I think I am uh, excellent, an excellent neighborhood. Okay, so an excellent neighbor. What about privacy? Are you respectful, Miley? Yes, yes, in my case, yes, because um, I mean, in my house, uh, only live my daughter and, and, and I. Um, I tried every day, uh, I don't know, how do you say, no meterme con mis vecinos or, uh, I mean, I don't have any problems with my neighborhoods because I don't know, I, I, uh, in my case, I love my pri pri privacy. Uh-huh, yes. And, and, and therefore, I, uh, I try. Respect. You show respect. You show respect. Also. Exactly, exactly. Okay, excellent. Do you have pets? Yes, I have a dog. Her name is Perla, but my little princess, she is very quiet. She is very precious. And how do you say ladra? 
Bark. Bark. Bar. Okay. Bar. Doesn't okay. bark. Uh, too loud. Exactly. She doesn't bark. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. E e and she is very friendly. So the perfect neighbor. If you want a perfect neighbor, go to, to Miley's house. Okay. Yes. In my case, I, I think it is that. It is, that's it. But I don't know. <laughs> my neighbors, I don't know. Uh, it, it, they, they think. Mm -hmm. What no they think about you. you. Okay, why they think about exactly. you. Exactly. But I think, yes, yes. You consider yourself as an excellent neighbor. Exactly, because when I leave my house, I see my neighbors uh, uh, all, all are with me. Hi, bye, uh -huh. good morning, good okay. afternoon. Okay. And say, uh, in this case, I, I think, okay, I am okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Who else? Who else wants to share? How do you consider yourself as a neighbor? About myself. Yes. My neighbors with me. Okay. Um, I think they think, uh, I don't know. I think they say, wow, my neighborhood is excellent, is a good mother, is a excellent neighborhood, is very, very worker, and is very quiet and she doesn't have problem with with my old neighborhoods. I don't know. It, it is my, I, I think that is. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, somebody You're else? Welcome. Nobody else. So probably you are bad neighbors. Why you you don't share anything? Uh -huh, Roberto, how do you consider yourself, Roberto Eduardo? Okay, um, I consider myself a uh, real quiet. You know, I don't like to talk with uh, with my neighbors because they are uh, they are weird. We're people. But um, you are polite. Are you polite? Did you greet? Yeah, some, sometimes. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, because I don't, I don't like to talk with my neighbors. <laughs> I don't like to talk with my neighborhoods because uh, any times uh, I work in, you know, and, and that people is like a snitch or something like that, you know? So I got a couple of friends, you know, but but I, but I don't like to talk with, with that people, you know, just with my family and a couple of friends. Okay. And I think, uh, yeah, I consider, I consider myself uh, real quiet and that's all, I think. So a good, yeah. a good neighbor. A good neighbor. A, a good neighbor, you know, is you know, not nothing more not, like Miley, but good. Uh, nothing more, nothing less, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So the rules, the rules. The rules. What yeah. about? Okay, let's listen to Natalia. Se me hizo Natalia. Um, Catherine. Uh, hi, teacher. I consider a good neighborhood because I don't. Uh, how don't do you say buscar? <laughs> uh, how do you say buscar? Look for. Uh, I don't look for problems with my neighborhood. Just okay. that. Okay, thank you. 
Muy bien. We have some complaints. Ah, well, a difference. Okay. The people who live in the neighborhood, it's a neighbor. Neighbor. And the place okay, where all the houses are placed is the neighborhood. Okay, so we have the neighborhood, the place, and neighbor, the people. Okay, neighbor or neighbors, the people. Okay. What are the common, the most common complaints that you hear around the your neighborhood or from your neighbors? What they complain for? I don't have complaints with nobody yeah. right here. No, that, that you know, you know that not, not for you, but in general, in general. In um, general, um, you mean uh, I have complained with somebody else or I have complained with? If you, if you hear uh, that somebody complains about another neighbor for example what about you uh, no i don't think uh, i don't think so no 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 i don't think okay. so okay wow that's excellent here yeah. in my neighborhood the complaints are most for pets for pets because some neighbors has like 10 or 15 cats. So they can really are about the pets because the cats uh, enter to the houses and you know they uh, uh, left a, a gift okay, over there or the dogs. The dogs uh, sometimes they go out without without supervision so that's a problem too so most of the complaints here are from the pets what about in your neighborhood okay i got it i i think i got complaint with my you no know, with my neighbor he's a very noise you know Ah, he's noisy. He's noisy. He's noisy. He put he, he put the the music a, a louder. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. So and here in El Salvador, the houses are small, right? So yeah, it's, it's everything. Yeah, it's very tiny, and uh, I, I hear everything. You know, around <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. I hear when okay. when I hear when they got like a when they fight you know oh, uh, when yes. they have a uh, trouble with each other or something like that okay so, yes yeah. yes correct that uh, those are some of the most common complaints okay for example here we have uh about noise Okay, for example, my neighbor's dog barks all night. And here we have uh, this complaint. Or my neighbors, my neighbor always has loud parties or listen to the music uh, too loud. Okay, about privacy, for example, privacy. The kids next door always play in my yard. Okay, or my neighbor visits every day. It's too much. Like, hello, I'm here, how are you? And do you have a cup of sugar or something like, like excuses, right? Okay, what about animal problems? Victoria, could you read it, please? The complaints regarding to animal problems? Uh, my neighbors um, are bad neighbors. 
the pets um, do does eh, sus I don't know necesidades fuera um, very noise 3 a.m. Eh, party eh, gritos <laughs> I uh, I am a bad a bad neighbor for that I I don't know your names um, I love my privacy in um, no many communication si es la palabra correcta <laughs> you, you don't talk too much with them exactly exactly okay 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 now would you read these complaints, please, donde dice animal problems, these ones. That oh. I'm sorry. My neighbors. Okay, let's see. Karina, could you read the complaints about animal problems, please? The microphone. Yes, eh, buscando ando la eh, qué número es porque no alcanzo a leer. Ah, uh, I think yes, it's yes, 33. Yes. Página 53. Ah, uh, página ok. Quiero ver si lo puedo leer. Eh, que lea donde dice animal problems. Animal problems, yes. Animal, uh, my neighborhood had go everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, my neighbor, my neighbor had six dots. It's a zoo. It's a zoo. Okay. A Thank zoo. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Karina. Okay. okay. Uh, Sandra, could you read the complaints? Regarding to a uh, clean lines. Yeah. Um, my neighbor has garbage, garbage in his front yard. No, yo creo que sea yeah, a front yard. My neighbor never cut the yeah. Okay, yes, thank you. Yes, the garbage. Okay, the garbage in the grass. And here, for example, in my neighborhood, the leaves of the tree, okay, they, they falling down and they live on the street. Okay, and it's that look bad. Okay, so those are. Most of the common complaints. And then we have the conversation, okay, a practice. Okay, it's pretty safe. Okay, to, uh, talking about security or about safety. Okay, how do you consider your neighborhood? Um, now, because of the, the regimen deception, Okay, in, in some places, this, uh, the safety is better. Okay, now it's better. Okay, let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice in pairs. Okay, wait, wait, wait. In this, session. this time we'll study how many and how much. 
Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. So there was the conversation. Okay, now we are going to practice. Okay, I'm going to make breakout rooms and you're going to work in pairs. Okay. Or do you want to, to do we practice together? Do you think it's better? Or do you want to work on pairs on the breakout rooms? I think it's better together, no pairs, because I don't know. <laughs> I like I like it. Some people together. This is, some people this is. Yes. Okay. So let's do it here together. Two volunteers. Okay, Virginia and um, Candy. How did you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown is there much no noise? Oh no, there there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near you, please? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much criminal? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's practice apartment, apartment, okay? And convenient, convenient, okay? Apartment and convenient. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Something that some, some words? What is convenient? Convenient? Uh, um, is when something is good for you or it has benefits, benefits for you. For example, if you live near your work, you can uh, walk to your work, uh, you can get up late because you are close, okay, so that's convenient. I don't know. Oh, okay. it, it's similar like, like in Spanish, very similar. In this case, talk uh, about the apartment. Yes, yes. But convenient could be for, for anything. Okay, for example, if a new work is convenient for you, okay, it's better. It's good for you, it's better, so that's convenient. Or for example, you have to work more, but your payment will be less, so that's not convenient. Oh, or okay. if you Thank have you. To, to move to another house, 
and because you get a, uh, in order to get a new job. So it, it, it is not convenient because if you live here in San Salvador, but you have to work on San Miguel, for example, that's not convenient because it's too far or, or you have to move or you have to commute in order to, to, to go to the new work. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Muy bien, Liz, uh, I think Lizbeth wants to participate. Yes, teacher. Okay, and? One more volunteer. Me, if you want. Okay, thank you. Okay, Roberto. Okay. Okay, uh, I am. You are I Nick. Am Nick. Yes. Okay, hold on. Cause, okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there is any. I live on the 50th floor. floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? And in fact, there's an excellent place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's my pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I call you back later. <laughs> okay, thank you. Muy bien, the last, the last participants. One more time. Okay, Carla and me, teacher. Okay, Roberto Carlos. Yes, I am. Okay, Roberto, you will be Nick, and Carla, you will be Pam. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. Is downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There is a nanny a little on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact. There is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call, I call you back later. Okay, thank you. Okay, also remember to practice garages. Garages. Okay, so now we are going to check some some exercises. Okay, remember you have to work on the platform. Okay, I think these ones. Okay, we have here a map. Okay, I'm going to ask you, remember that yesterday we were talking about prepositions and how to make questions using uh, is there or are there? Yes? Yes, 
Okay. So now we are uh, we are going to make questions using this map. Okay. So I'm going to make the first question. I'm going to pick one of you. You are going to answer, and then you can pick another victim. Okay. For example. Karen Xiomara, is there a grocery store near? Um, Princess, Princess Grocery Store. Mm, any grocery store. Is there a grocery store in the neighborhood? Um, yes no, or no? No, 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 see. No. Uh, in, the, in the question, no. No, sí, teacher. ¿Cómo así? No la veo. Ah. La pregunta. No, que en el mapa. Vamos, vamos de acuerdo al mapa. O sea, usted va a basar sí. su respuesta de acuerdo al mapa. Ah, you, you didn't see any grocery store on the map. Ok, teacher. Um... Your name, the grocery store, Princess. I see it in Pine Street. Ah, okay. So first you have to answer yes. Okay, yes, there is a grocery store or there are some grocery store. And then you can add the location. Where is it? Okay, primero a contestar yes or no. Porque recuerde que eh, son preguntas parcialmente cerradas. So you, 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 you need a, uh, to give an answer, like yes or no, or, uh, well. Yes. Y es, es que yo veo dos, porque veo una que dice non name. Ok, entonces y... vamos a utilizar, si son dos, Vamos a utilizar plural. ¿Cuál era la respuesta en plural que aprendimos ayer? There are. There are. In negative. Two. No, in positive, porque sí hay. There are. There are any. Some grocery store. There are in any. No. Esa era para la question o para negatives. Pero como si hay, lo vamos a contestar in positive, but in plural. A ver, Miley, same question. Can you repeat, please, the uh, question? Is there a grocery store in the neighborhood? Yes, okay, the grocery store. Yes, there is the grocery store on Second Avenue. Okay, okay, thanks. It's correct. Yes, yes, that's correct. Avenue, avenue. Avenue. Okay, now avenue. pick a victim, no, pick a classmate and uh, make a, another question. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, Lucia Elena Cepeda. Sorry, okay. Okay. Uh, yo la pregunta. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lucia, in the neighborhood, there uh, is, is there a gas station in the neighborhood? Is correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is uh one gas station. On the first avenue. 
on First Avenue. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Lucia, pick somebody else and make another question. A boy. Roberto Carlos. Okay. Make the question. There are, yes. Are there, there are some. Are there. Are, are there some library in the neighborhood? Library. Let me see. Give me one second. No steam. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Public library. Library. I need other class. <laughs> mm. So you, you, your answer mm -hmm. is yes or no? A, a library is there a library in the neighborhood yes there is yes there is one yes there is one where next to you no <laughs> no <laughs> no yes next to the gas station, okay? Oh. Yes, there is a public library next to the gas station. I'm okay. Sure. Muy bien, eso era para practicar with uh, are there or is there. Ahora vamos con las prepositions. Estuvimos viendo el día de ayer. Okay, tenemos aquí the questions. Okay, hoy vamos a empezar con Stephanie. Is there a, y luego te, nos vamos a guiar for the answer. Dice, yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Okay, so what is it? A library, a hotel, or a park? A hotel. Okay. Number two, Maria de Los Angeles. Would you read? Okay, here we have. Uh, yes, there's one, dice. It is next to Prince Grocery Store. Okay, what place it is? Bank, gym, or laundromat? A bank. Bank. A bank. Okay, then we are going to check, okay? Number three. Uh, Jocelyn, number three. Is there a park, Joe's gym, or department store near here? Number two. Yes? Is, sería department store. Department store. Okay, read the, read the answer, please. Lea la respuesta. Ah, ok, ahorita la leo. Sería, is there a, is there a dep department store? New, near. Yeah. Yes, there is there one on my street bench parts. Drug, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la última? Drug Drug store. store. Drug store. Behind, ok, behind parkers. 
drugstore. Okay. Number four, Rowdy. Is there a cafe, gas station, or hotels on Pine Avenue? Rosie? Okay, si no, le ayuda Leslie, Leslie Natalie. Miss, the answer is a gas station. Gas station. Okay, could you read it, please? No, there is this. No, there isn't, but there is on the, there is on Vice Avenue in Main Street. Okay, there is one. ¿Se recuerdan que también vimos numbers yesterday? There is one yes. on First Avenue. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Number five. Um, Candy, number five. Are there hotels, public library, or grocery stores on Main Street? Let me see the, the image. Grocery stores, I think. On Pine Street, okay, grocery stores. Number six, Lisbeth. Yes, teacher, number six. Yeah, gym, shoe store or grocery store near here. Is there a gym near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and O'Day's department store. Okay. Number seven, Catherine. Is there a electronic store, park, or bank on Second Avenue? Electronic store. Okay, number eight, Margarita. I don't see the neighborhood. Okay, this is there a, y luego tenemos public library, payphone, drugstore around here. And here is the neighborhood. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. A shopping center. A shopping. It's a payphone. A payphone? Are you sure? Yes. Well. Number nine, um, mainly. Okay, this is the uh, well next to guest station. Mm -hmm. Hotel, cafe, or yeah. public library. 
public library. Next library is public library. Okay. And number 10, cutting. Same. Are there any restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores on First Avenue? Um, restaurants. Restaurants. Okay. okay. Now let's check. Okay, excellent. They are all correct. Muy bien, esto es regarding to the prepositions, okay? Regarding to the prepositions, okay? Also, I'm going to send you uh, this exercise in order to get to practice more about, uh, about prepositions. Okay, we have in front of, next to, between, behind, above and opposite, okay? Opposite, it's when you have a street in the middle, okay? That's opposite, opposite. Okay, así que le voy a mandar este link para que realicen este, eh, este ejercicio. Aquí les aparece el map and you eh, also, you have to pick the, the correct eh, preposition. Okay, here you have next to, between, behind, above, opposite, in front of. So you are going to read the question, the, the, the sentence, okay, there's, okay, what is, uh, uh, what, uh, that is the contractive form of there is. Okay, there's a park. Eh, y luego selecciona la, la preposition. Y aquí le, le aparece um, the complement. Okay, so I'm going to send you the link here on the chat. And you can practice later. Okay. Ahí está. There is in order to in order to practice the prepositions. Questions about prepositions. Estas son some of them. Yes. Above teacher. Above it's uh, arriba, but in this case, um, es como could be could be used um, like not in the air. O sea, no solamente no solamente digamos cosas like like there are no flooring, but for example, if you have something on paper and there is a bulb, entonces sería como como arriba, arriba, pero no siempre va a significar arriba en este plano, sino que también puede ser, como les digo, en un escrito, o sea, lo que está anteriormente, o arriba de esto. It acts above. Thanks. Pero no es en... Se le cortó. Make your question again, please. Pero no es encabezado, sería como un fragmento, un tema. No, en este caso sería una posición. Está indicando a position, la posición de, de algo. Teacher. Yes. Sería como quien dice así encima, como quien dice sobre a este, a algún objeto o algo, algo así. Uh -huh. It's similar, yes. Um, 
Yes, it's similar. It's like, eh, como arriba, pero es que no es, en inglés es diferente. Porque, o sea, si yo voy a decir, si, si, lo, lo estoy, pon, si estoy poniendo el objeto, por ejemplo, como ve en la imagen, there is an space, porque no está, o sea, está sobre, pero no está como cuando, cuando, como cuando ponemos algo encima de. Entonces, it's... Entonces... Ajá, porque en este caso, Entonces cuando sería... hay contacto en la superficie, en este caso sí sería on. Okay. On, on the table, on the floor. Okay. Pero si no hay contacto, entonces en este caso es como más de ubicación, sí sería above, como arriba de, pero no, no sobre exactamente. O sea, es sobre... Yes. Yes. In your case, Entonces it sería is like uh, the ornament sin. is about you. Could be, could be anything. Could be anything. Como les decía, puede ser en 3D, puede ser en, en una página impresa. Por ejemplo, cuando leen indicaciones y le dicen eh, the picture which is above. O sea, la que está encima o, 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 o encima o antes de de esto, de lo, de lo que está leyendo en el momento. Entonces, podría ser en cualquier, cualquier caso. Ok. No more questions. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance again. Okay, when you have time, you can practice. Okay, you can practice this part. Okay, there are only 10. There are only 10 exercises. So you are going to make them quickly. I don't know if you have questions. Ahora más que todo era practice. No questions. No teacher. Okay, mañana vamos a hablar acerca de los quantifiers. Okay. Okay, let's check. Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Okay, Kande. I'm here. Karen. Present teacher. Karina. Present teacher. Carla. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Catherine. Leslie. Present. Lisbeth. Present. Lucia. Present teacher. Okay, Virginia. Virgin Luz, Virginia. Margarita. Present. María de los Ángeles. Okay. Um, Martin. Present. Okay. Meili. Present. Melissa. Michelle. Raúl. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Eduardo. Uh, present teacher. Okay. Rodi. 
Sandra. Ok. Selma. Sí, Mi compañera escribió en el grupo que no iba a poder reconectarse. Ah, ok. Thank you. Stephanie. Ok. And Victoria. Present. Ok. So that will be all for today. See you tomorrow. Don't miss the classes. Work on the platform. Vaya trabajando ya ahora, por ejemplo, esta parte que hicimos de las prepositions. Bueno, yo sé que algunos ya van adelantados. But if you didn't do it, you can do it tomorrow or tonight. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Get rest and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Me, bye, 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 teacher. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Creo que te ves. Bye, Bye. 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 Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, sobre lo que es este, el medium. Mm -hmm. Tengo problemas con la, una pregunta. No sé si yo la entiendo mal o, o qué. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál sería? ¿Qué pregunta sería? ¿Y cuál, en cuál ejercicio? Permítame. Vamos a ver si puedo hacer esto. Se ve. Yes. Va. Es sobre you? esta es la última. No sé, no sé si, si, si por lo mismo el cansancio o qué, pero ya topé. La no, baje la, 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 la que está, no la. puedo bajarla porque es un screenshot, como estoy conectada del teléfono ahorita. Ah, pero es 13.3. A ver. La voy a buscar. Yes. 3.3 o el 13.3. Este era el literal D. Espérenme. Es que cuando lo intenté hacer, ay, así se me, se me desapareció. Me sacó. Es, es el, 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 el MIDI, el literal de. De midterm. Sí. Ah, vaya. El literal de. Uh -huh. Es este que se ordene la, la, la pregunta. Bueno, en este caso es una negativa, negativa, sí negativa, porque dice que Jeff no, no le gusta hacer ejercicio. Ah, ya la encontré. Vaya. Sí. Rewrite uh -huh. scramble sentences. Esa. Espérame, se la voy a poner aquí. Esta. Esta es, perdón. 